are you? It is Colleen, the Rebel Stitcher here, and Albus. I think he's a little out of the frame, but he's sitting next to me. Um, this is episode number 28, and this will be the last uh, floss tube of 2020. I am going to go over all of the whips that I have that I'm carrying into 2021. And also go over some plans for some really exciting uh, sales that I'm working on uh, with some friends. And um, that's it. I am coming to you with the same sweatshirt I had on yesterday and bedhead. So, you know, if there's an award for Floss Tube Glamour, don't forget to nominate me, okay? Um, before I get into my sales and um, whips and all the good stuff. I just wanted to show you a Christmas card I got the other day. It is from a stitchy friend, Kim. From I met her through Keepsakes, and she's just the sweetest person in the world. And she wrote me, and I'm not going to read it, uh, like the kindest note in here. And I don't get to see her that often because of, you know, stupid COVID. So I just wanted to say, um, Kim, I got it. Thank you. And you made my day. Um, anyway, enough of the, um, soft feels there. Let's, um, jump into whips. Ah, I need caffeine this morning. Okay. I have 13 whips that I'm bringing into 2021. I don't, I can't guarantee that all of them will get stitched on, but they are not being abandoned and I will go through them and show you the whips first and then I will go into the new things that I know I have planned. Um, and these are in no particular order. I am just have a very classy, let me see if I show you, laundry basket over here that lives in my um, bedroom that has all of my uh, whips in it and it's overflowing. So I better finish some things so I have room for the new ones. Winter Quakers. This is with the called for thread and the called for fabric. And this is as far as I have gotten on that. This is really fun to stitch. I'm sure I'll go back to it. And uh, boy, look at that. I should have rethought this. Just, just be natural thing. Okay, so that's whip number one, Winter Quakers. Hey, I'll be holding on to that for me. Whip number two is Brooks Books Publishing Animal Advent Calendar. This is number seven that I'm working on. I completed one through five this year. This is a sale if you would like to join along in the fun, um, hosted by myself. Sprinklestein underscore stitches and EJ creates. Um, Amy Sprinklestein uh, is has her own floss tube, and EJ we all know from Sunshine Stitchers. So these are adorable. I stitched five in one year. So at this rate, was it going to take me five years to finish this? <laughs> um, but they're really fun, and if you guys love cute little animals and holiday things. That would be a fun one to join along on. So that is Brooks Books Publishing Animal Advent Calendar hashtag holiday animal cuteness sale. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this is Frida Kahlo. I don't have a picture of the finished piece. I only have a copy of the chart, so I can't show you that, but this is how far I've gotten on her. I made a mistake somewhere. A lot of times that's why I put things away. I made a mistake somewhere in the flowers or her hair and I just haven't gone back. But I really like this and I would like to finish it. Um, so there's Frida Kahlo. Coolest person with a unibrow you'll ever meet. See what's in here oh this is my oldest whip my french bulldog we all know i need to get cracking on this 
and my Frenchy needle minder that also glows in the dark. I think just about every needle minder on here you can find in my needle minder shop on Facebook and Instagram under Rebel Stitcher Designs. If you see one in this whip parade that strikes your fancy. Okay, moving right along. Okay, this is a crowd favorite. I need to get moving on her. Dress monkey on a throne. The cutest person you'll ever see. Taking a poop. Let's see. She's so wrinkly. This is stiff fabric. Um, but there she is. I mean, she's, I'd say at least halfway done because I'm not doing all the background. Um, so I'd say she's about halfway done and she's beautiful and I love her. Please kill my enemies. Needle minder because she seems like she would be a tough, a tough little girl. Uh, so, dress monkey on the throne. Let's see what's next in our basket of goodies. That is one I'm not sure I'm going to carry over. Okay, this one I definitely want to get working on. Prairie Schooler Sweeping Cobwebs. I'm doing this one at the moment. And this is as far as I have gotten. I absolutely love this piece. Um, and I would love to add it to my Halloween collection of stitching. So I really... This is a joy. This is comfort stitching. Prairie Schooler Halloween is my comfort stitching. You okay there, Elvis? I feel like you're going to hurl. Okay. Next. Oh, this is my Ouija board. Oh, this is a needle minder that is not mine. Um, I mainly just have to finish the bat and the tree on the side closest to the needle minder. So that shouldn't be too, too hard. Hopefully I can complete that. There was a mistake in the bat and that's why I abandoned it. Um, but I'm just going to have to fudge it and make it work. As Tim Gunn says in Project Runway, make it work. So I'll have to have a make it work moment on that one and finish that. That's been hanging around for too long. Yeah. There's not much left to do. Um, oh, this is the guinea pig one. I started for my daughter. I hate this fabric, but I've got one guinea pig more than halfway done. And then there's another one. Um, yeah. And they've got it like a Lady in the Tramp piece of lettuce between their mouths. Um, so, and a Just Peachy needle minder. Hey, 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 get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. I don't know what the dog's got into, but he looks like he's going to hurl. Hold on one second. Come on, outside. Come on, outside. Sorry about that. And let's face it, I'm too lazy to edit that out. So you get to see my butt in sweatpants. Um, okay, so this is one of the sows that I started last year. Well, in 2020, that's coming over to 2021. It's the Zimmerman coverlet sow. We all remember my trauma I had with this one. I restarted it. In the correct orientation. That's just a piece of thread there. Um, 
so now that I had to restart it, it doesn't show like a lot of progress, but there I am. I would like to finish it at some point. Um, and again, that if you're interested in that piece, that's hosted by Ellen Reed over at Maximum CrossFit Power Hour. And you can find um, American, wait, is it some, Modern Folk Embroidery, not American, Modern Folk Embroidery's website. And it is a fundraiser for a uh, shelter in Canada. So um, it's a good cause. Let's see. This is my Game of Thrones house, castles and banners piece. This is a Clouds Factory. Um, I've shown this before. I don't think I've made any progress in a long time on this one. This is again. This is not one of my needle minders, a Targaryen one. Um, but this is fun. This would be great in our nerd basement. I just haven't since the terrible season last season of Game of Thrones. It just kind of put me off wanting to stitch it, but oh well. I got to get back because I do love Game of Thrones. It just, they rushed that last season and ruined it. Let's see. It looks like I have two more in here. Whoops. This is my Scottish Quaker <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Here's a picture of what it looks like. By Tempting Tangles. Quakers in Scotland. That's what it's called. And this is what, as far as I've gotten, I absolutely adore this chart. It is so much fun to stitch. So, um, and my Bigfoot needle minder there. I will definitely be getting back to this one. I had a hard time putting it away. That's a sign of a good stitch. And let's see. Last but not least. Let's see if I could find the picture for this. Baron Von Bat needle minder or needle. Yeah, they call it a needle minder, but it's more like a needle book. You stitch the front and the back of them and then sew it together with like little magnets in his wings so he can wrap his wings up. I have not made progress on this in quite a while, but here he is with that cute little bat belly. My vintage witch needle minder and um, he's adorable but he's full of kind of confetti popcorn stitches so you really have to be in the mood and pay attention when you're stitching him because also the front and the back have to match so it's kind of hard to fudge but he's adorable I will get back to him eventually My boss is calling. He's ready to come back in. Okay. Okay. Now, what I am carrying, starting, or saddles that I have planned for 2021. First, Holiday Animal Cuteness Sale by Brooks Books Publishing. I plan on continuing working on that. The Zimmerman Coverlet Sale. I plan, hopefully I will continue working on that. Now all the rest are new ones. And I don't have a picture to show you. Um, uh, hold on. Let, I'll find a picture. Okay, that was the picture of the um, Susan B. Anthony sampler by Stone Street. And that is the sale that I will be starting on New Year's Day, 
with my uh, stitchy friends, Lynn and Liz. Um, we're all putting our own spin on that. And Stephanie over at Keepsakes has the chart on order and uh, we're, fingers crossed it comes in and we can start on New Year's Day. And that one, I think we're gonna use the hashtag best thoughts, best friends sale. So you guys are more than welcome to join us with that. Um, and it would be fun to see how everybody's stitching that one up. Also, um, there's a lot of people that have started stitching the Harriet Tubman set or Harriet Tubman chart that came out from Primitive Hair. I have mine on order. It has not arrived yet. Might be today. And I'm um, actually after this this afternoon, I'm going to head over to Keepsakes because I have a whole list of things I need to kit up for my 2021 uh, stitching. So. That is on the list, and I know uh, Shelia and the Crafty Curator and a few other um, people have started stitching that already and gotten a head start. I'm gonna jump in as soon as I get all my supplies. Um, Becca at Sambly Stitches and a bunch of other people are stitching these. These were exclusives to a shop, and I'm sure they'll come out eventually, but for right now, they're exclusives, to my knowledge, to a shop in Australia called Linens and Thread. Um, uh, Plum Street Samplers. Here's the Abominable Bundle. I'm trying to get it so there's not a glare. So it's adorable little Snow Yeti. And the Bigfoot Bunch. These are in that um, that stack style, like the rack stack and the sloth, you know, all those cute ones with the animals. They're the same sort of um, thing. So we are going to stitch these. Becca, Sambri Stitches, and anyone else. I think I know my friend, uh, my Flostitute friend and I are going to do it also. And this one is hashtag mythical creature sale. Um, Becca left that kind of open ended. So that way you can stitch on any mythical creature because not everybody's going to ship these from Australia. Um, but by the way, the company was super fast and very responsive and had good customer service. So if you're on the fence, it got here quickly, it was tracking, and um, I actually was so excited when I saw this one. I hit add the cart and checked out, and I didn't realize there was this one. And so I messaged them back, can I add it? And they're like, oh yeah, no problem. And they just sent me an invoice for the remainder and shipped them together. Um, so anyway, so that one is Mythical Creature Sale. If you've got unicorns, mermaids, Loch Ness Monster, jackalopes, yetis, chubacabra, any sort of mythical creature you would like, come and join us and use that uh, hashtag. And um, there's no official start date. Um, everybody's kind of getting their stuff in now. Apparently I was the first of the bunch to um, get that one in, uh, probably because I'm on the East Coast. Well, not te technically East Coast, but... Um, and um, there we go. Add that one to your list if you'd like to. Another one, I mentioned my friend, my Flostitute friend, the muse for that needle minder. Her and I have birthdays like a day apart from each other. Like as we've gotten to know each other, we have figured out we have like a million things in common. So, um, uh, she suggested that we do a birthday sale and we don't necessarily have the same style in stitching. Um, she's definitely um, more of the fancy lady, Brenda and the cereal starter, sampler, high count kind of jam. But we both like these um, Stacy Nash Primitives Animal Cracker series. So we're going to start on this adorable little guy. And our birthdays are in May, so we won't be starting this for a while. But this little slug is adorable, and we're going to work through the series, hopefully. 
I think the next one is the elephant. So this is P. Roy, the slug. So that will be in May. And then just added to the slate of fun this morning, as a matter of fact, my girl Jody from Steel City Stitchers. Uh, we had so much fun stitching that bat together. Um, that kind of is what got me wanting to do all these sows. I never did any sows before that. And not that it was like a sow where everybody joined along. It was just her and I stitching the same thing. But it was so much fun that I'm like, I want to stitch everything. So her and I decided that we need to uh, pick something else together. And we went back and forth with a million um, options. And we settled on this. The Queen That Was by Ink Circles. She is going to dye us some amazing fabric um, because she is a wizard and super talented. And I'm not sure, I guess after we get the fabric, we'll figure it out, but I started kitting up my floss. See in there, I'm just missing one DMC, which I will get today. So I had 35 finishes last um, this, this year, 2020. Let's see, I have 13, here comes the numbers. I had 13, I have 13 whips that I'm bringing in, but some of those are like the animal advent calendar that have like a million, but I'm just counting it as one. So that's 13 I'm bringing forward, and then I'm adding five more. The Susan B. Anthony, uh, Best Thoughts, Best Friends Sal, the Mythical Creatures Sal, Harriet Tubman, our birthday Sal, and Jody Sal. So that's five more I'm adding. So 13 plus five. We'll see how many of those I can get done. And also that leaves room for anything shiny that might come out like Halloween, things that um, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to stitch that. So anyway, those are my plans. I'm going to keepsakes today to kit up a bunch of stuff. And um, I can't wait to start stitching in 2021. Um, thanks for watching. Stay safe and happy new year. And I hope everybody has a, um, hope 21, ugh, 2021 comes out better than um, 2020 did. Cause boy, was that a dumpster fire. And if you need a dog fix, let's see, come here, come here. Oh, Dobby volunteered. I guess she's getting, she likes her screen time. So Dobby and I say goodbye. Have a great stitching time. Hey, me again. In true Colleen fashion, I realized I left out a whip. This is one I've been working on. Rosie the Riveter. Um, this is from Happy Sloth. Um, Happy Sloth Patterns off of Etsy and the fabric is by Bestitch Me, otherwise known as Best Itch Me. Uh, it was a fabric of the month called Guardian. This has been a super fun piece to stitch. I can't believe I've left it off my list. So now just, I guess I have um, 14 um, whips I'm bringing into 2021 and this will definitely be finished. Um, I'm trying to get all the black in. I've got the other part of her arm and a little bit more in here and then it's just uh, color fill in. The other thing I did on here is the chart called for ecru for her flesh tone and it was so close to white she looked like a, a freaky albino and so I um, changed the uh, flesh tone to something a little more human. And um, that's it, sorry, last one, bye.